and welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. As you can see, our darling rogue here finally got to drain our content. It unfortunately took me a couple of days longer than it normally would because I actually took time away from her to work on capping my Beastmaster, whom I'm also very pleased with. Um, before getting into today's video, I would like to recommend if you have not tried Beastmaster, um, give it a shot. It is crazy overpowered, and while I love every race and every class that I have tried so far, because honestly, Blizzard did really phenomenal, um, there is something about Beastmaster that's just so ridiculously OP to me that I, I think it's worth everybody trying. Just the fact alone that when tanks drop from group just at random or the beginning of your dungeon and you can't get them for Q, your pet can tank the entire dungeon without issue or white is crazy. And I know that you have the potential to be able to do that with your um, demonology warlocks as well, which they also do great. You know, don't get me wrong. I love my demo lock so much. It's so crazy good. But I think as far as, you know, just having one demon or one demon, one pet, sorry, tanking, I think that actually my Beastmaster um, was able to handle pet tanking just a little bit better than my Warlock was. I don't know how many people are going to agree, that's just my humble opinion, um, and I really enjoyed it, so it's definitely worth a try. Um, I would also like to say freaking kudos to Blizzard because this Heritage Armor is awesome. I love the fact that it looks feminine, but also extremely badass at the same time. They did bulky in the right way. The only thing that I will not use, two things that I will not use, um, one is just because I don't put helmets on my females because I love their faces. It's just how I've been in every game I've played on every platform, um, is the helmet. And then the other thing is the belt, because while it looks very cool and I think on a male it would look dope, on a female, don't want it. I like that she can look this badass and this feminine at the same time, so good job, Blizzard. Moving on. Today is December 11th, which means that today was patch day. Um, I don't normally look at patch release notes because my guildies will tell me about things and I just remember things that are important pertaining to myself, um, but this time for you guys, I thought I would go ahead and come up with a short list. Now I'm sure I didn't remember everything and I'm really sorry if I forgot to put anything into this compiled list, but it was kind of just a quick thing because really what I want to do is I want to take you guys through my first run of the new Warfront. Um, but before I did that, I wanted to preface it with, you know, a little bit of information for people who don't keep up on it, like me. Um, and when I started to, the video ended up, like, running 10 minutes on its own. So I'm kind of just turning that into its own video. And then I'll be moving on to another video um, recording of me and probably one of my friends going through the war front. It'll be my first time. I think he got, went through it a little bit earlier on one of his other characters, but it doesn't matter. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, moving forward, one of the cool things about today is that if you had ordered or pre-purchased your Spoils of War package, you got your meat wagon today. Um, I admittedly did do this. <laughs> I spent a little too much money on Warcraft, um, but... It's pretty, it's pretty dope. It's a pretty cool mount. It's special action especially is really brutal. Um, I didn't get to play the old strategy game, but I'm told that it's exactly like the meat wagon from that game. So I think it's really cool how they were able to transfer it from the strategy game to the, you know, normal MMO um, and, and just make it so neat. Um, so moving on to more of the bigger content releases today. So first of all, the biggest thing for people like me who are all tours 
is that we got kind of an experience point um, break, I'll say. We kind of got a reduction. Um, the way they explained it is from 1 to, and don't quote me, I think it was 60. I, for some reason, just blinked and didn't write it down, even though that is vital information. Um, I think it's 1 to 60, your XP slowly gains or goes up by like 50%, and then from 60 to like 120, I think it slowly dwindles back down. Um, one of my friends actually did the math for me, and according to him, that equivalents to like, I think 25% less XP overall, he said. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's a pretty big chunk. To be honest, that's pretty nice. It should be quite easy for people to alt whore now. Which I'm also excited for. Um, for the fact that I have two other characters um, that I have to get up to 100. I'm getting all of these characters up to 100 to help um, make my boyfriend want to cap because he doesn't really um, appreciate the grind as nobody seems to <laughs> so when i can and he is you know back on his warcraft kick i i try to um get my characters up to level two to kind of persuade him to be like hey let's get you up here so we can both have characters at 120 like a, a big list hopefully um so we can come up with different pvp comps and gear things differently and then start getting competitive with pvp because ultimately my dream is actually to compete at BlizzCon. So, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea to have options and, and to learn what fits my playstyle best. So far, it's Disc Priest, and Disc Priest is super OP, and I know that they got a little bit of a nerf today, um, but I still love it. It's still great, and it'll remain great. Um, I, I know that other classes also got a nerf, and I'm honestly not 100% sure how everyone got nerfed and by what. Because, um, like I said, I'm not very good at paying attention to stuff like that with pre-release notes. But I know it did happen, but I also don't think it's going to take um, a whole lot of getting used to. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. So, anyway, um, along with the patch release... We got new islands for island expeditions, as well as expedition drops that will be new, um, and transmogs. I think that's great. <laughs> the Dragon Rider top, I want that so badly. Now, if only they would increase the drop rate, I would be, like, over the moon. <laughs> um, we also have new table missions coming in hot. And the two things that I found that were interesting that nobody really told me about because I'm not really big on the mythic scene yet, like I, I've probably said before, um, you know, I have all of these characters here at cap, but my goal is to get them all to cap and then start gearing them, which means when they're all at cap, I'll start grinding mythics and mythic pluses and getting them up there. Now, I've done mythics before. I've not done a Mythic Plus, but maybe I will record that monstrosity. Um, <laughs> and the reason being for this is even before I got on this leveling kick, which mind you was only like a couple of months ago, I main healers. And my biggest fear is to go into a Mythic that goes south because everybody blames the healers. I could be the best healer in the world. If it goes south, people will blame you. And it's just a wonderful feeling that I would really love to avoid. <laughs> um, but those two things are, one, that your mythic keystones may no longer be deleted. And two, two new mythic keystones, um, feats of strength, uh, will be there, I guess. I, I totally butchered that. But yeah, you have two new mythic keystone feats of strength. Sorry about that. As you can tell, I'm still getting used to this. This is also like, oh god, my sixth recording and I'm still trying to learn how to edit and everything. So this is mostly just a straight run. It is torture. And when I finally learn how to do everything right, oh my god. Hopefully, hopefully I will figure my shit out by the time I start getting 
you know, people that actually watch these videos, so I won't be talking to myself anymore. Um, but then again, that probably won't happen. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, of course, on top of all of that, we have the new Warfront for Dark Shore, which I'm really excited about. Like I said, the next video, I'm going to be recording uh, my first time going through it on my mount um, farms, my rare farms. And I'm, I have high hopes. I have high hopes, especially after the cinematic, which, by the way, I hate. Tyrond, or however you pronounce her name, because... To be honest, I really don't hate her, or I really do hate her, god don't hate her, jeez. I really do hate her, and I have zero respect for her, and I really don't care how her name is pronounced. Yeah, she's getting a giant buff, basically, and I don't want to go too much into it, because <laughs> I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. Um, some sources said that, that I was looking this stuff up on, some sources said that they were spoilers, and other sources didn't indicate they were. So I won't say much, but the fact that the Alliance is getting basically a second Jaina. Bitch, you don't need glass cannons. You don't need more than one, okay? And they're not even glass cannons because these guys are built like tanks. They are ridiculous. So, honestly, not fair. And Malfurion, I've never liked him. He is a tool. Um, but just the fact that they're doing what they're doing to Tyrond... It infuriates me <laughs> so much. Like, I, I get that the Horde is amazing, and I get that we're better at PvP. No offense, guys. I'm sorry. It's just overall, Hordes seem to be better at PvP than Alliance. Um, you guys don't need to give them these overpowered motherfuckers. Pardon my language, but... My lord, <laughs> you're even taking Sarfing away from us right now. He is being faced with being a traitor to us, which I get. I understand where he comes from, where he's coming from. I don't hate him. He just doesn't understand where Sylvanas is coming from yet, and that's fine. And I can't say... I have to be careful how I say this because there are other spoilers I don't want to give you. But for what I think most people know now... Vol'jin predicted that people weren't going to understand where Sylvanas was coming from and that she was going to have to make these hard decisions even if people didn't like her and that he was led to believe that she was the one who was right to lead the Horde. Now I know there's controversy on that if anybody else has looked anything up with this, but I believe where we are right now in the storyline on the current cinematics without people having peeked ahead what we know and I get that Sour Fang is just bringing that to fruition and it's not his fault but the fact that we have our dark lady who really only wins because she's ridiculously cunning she is so smart she outsmarts the alliance every time um, and she's skilled with a bow you know, that doesn't mean in a 1v1 power fight, you know, she's as powerful as, let, let's say, Jaina, alright? That's, that's, it's crazy to me. Jaina could take out everybody, Alliance and Horde, if she wanted to. And the Alliance have her. And that's, you know what, that's fine. I don't care. She fits for them. But the fact you guys are getting somebody else that is gonna end up like that is just ridiculous it is crazy to me but that's okay because we will rise above because the underdogs will always win or so i hope because i'm gonna be one cranky ass mother heifer if shit hits the fan for us <laughs> anyway um so I'm, I'm rambling now. I'm getting off on side tangents. This video is getting long. The last thing that I want to say for this video, and oh, I'm so sorry if you just heard a bump on the mic. Um, the last thing I want to say for this video, aside from I'm so sorry that you've just been staring at my mag car this entire time, is that according to Wowhead, more content will be coming out January 22nd, 2019, such as the Battle of Dazar Lore Raid, 
as well as Season 2 of PvP and the Reaping of Fix and Mythics. Um, that's all I know. My source is nothing but Wowhead. Um, I think Wowhead and Icy Veins are the only two things I would really source anything from when it comes to this game. Aside from the, the website, you know, Warcraft's website themselves and their release notes and whatever, but I just happen to look at Wowhead. Um, and that's, that's it. If you're interested in seeing what the new Warfront is like to a scrub, because that's what I consider myself, a scrub, check out the next video. Thanks guys, see you next time.